now. Do me a favor, put your hands behind your back, okay? <laughs> Well, this shooting video had a lot of people talking yesterday. A Metro officer stabbed in the head and his partner opening fire. Now, that shooting happened on Friday, and within three days, Metro had a press conference and released that video you just saw. It's much different in Henderson, where it could be weeks or even months before the police release any information or body camera video. A News Now investigator Kyle Payne joins us for a look at how it works or doesn't work in some cases in Henderson, Kyle. Brian, Denise, the last time an officer fired his gun in Henderson was on June 24th. It took them three and a half weeks to give us any information, and they released all of it on YouTube. Get off the ground! Yeah, put it away! Put it away, Control, two and one, two and one, shot fired. Police shot 53-year-old Stephen Brucker at this bus stop near Boulder Highway. Officers arrived in the area and located the subject matching the description at a nearby bus stop. They set up this staging area to keep the media out of the crime scene and shared little information. Officers attempted to de-escalate the situation. However, the male refused, and one officer discharged his firearm, striking the suspect. And then, weeks of silence until... This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the city of Henderson on June 24, 2023. Henderson police released their version of events in this YouTube press conference. Bruckner pointed his firearm towards officers, resulting in one officer, Officer Travers, firing his weapon and striking Bruckner. Problem is, there's no press at this conference or ever in Henderson when they release their findings after an officer fires his weapon. The media can't ask questions, can't get any clarification, can't challenge the findings, and can't get any follow-up. As you can see here, one of our 8 News Now investigators asked for just that. We were told no. Do you think that there's anything to that, that, there, that Henderson is making it difficult to access information. In May, in her first week on the job, I sat down with Holly Chadwick, Henderson's fifth police chief since 2012. There's no reason why we would be making things difficult and moving forward, we will make sure that all the documentation and transparency is there for the community. But Chadwick wouldn't speak with us for this story and neither would Henderson's mayor, Michelle Romero. We're just one entity within this region. Or any of the Henderson City Council who declined our request through a spokesman. That's a cool idea. So we caught up with Councilman Dan Stewart of Henderson's Fourth Ward at a meetup he held with voters at a coffee shop in Horizon Ridge. Those YouTube press conferences come out whenever. Right. Doesn't seem like a good chance for us to ask any questions. You got a good point, and that's something we're looking into because it's been raised before. Stewart says the YouTube press conferences are adequate, a good way to get information out. But had you heard other than the YouTube video, had you heard anything other than from me about transparency? All, all the time. All the time? I asked the councilman again. Do I have it right that you're saying that you hear that you're not being transparent, but you disagree? I do. I do. I do. I think we are striving to be as transparent as we can. Do you think they're hiding things? Yes. Definitely. Definitely decisive words from attorney Andrew Regenbaum, who represents Henderson's two police unions. He says he's in a constant battle with Henderson City Attorney to get information and documents he needs to represent his clients. He says the YouTube press conferences and the amount of time HPD takes to release them don't help Henderson police officers or the public. I think it's in their best interest that that information come out as quickly as possible so that people see that transparency. Even though Henderson police declined our request to be interviewed for this story, they did send us a long statement. and said, among other things, that putting these briefings on social media allows everyone to view them at the same time. Thing is, we never know when that might be.